Well, hello there, traveller. I must admit, you've made quite a bit of time here. Well, don't keep me waiting. What happened? Oh, come on. It was just five assassins. I mean, they sent all five, and I killed all five. Well, killed and drained all five, really. But still, who's counting? <laughs> the point is, I'm keeping you safe. I thought you'd be a little bit more grateful. But instead, I see you're moping about that you can't leave. Don't you see how important it is that we keep you safe here at the stroke of midnight? I understand, but at the same time, it just seems a little odd to me. All right, fine. But I mean, you also haven't indulged in any fun activities. Wink, wink. Yes, that's precisely what I mean. What else would I mean? This, this is a brothel, after all. And I am a worker. Oh, I see. You prefer the company of dogs. <laughs> I meant as opposed to me. Well, I don't know who all you've spent time with. It's not my business. But I do know that you've spent a lot of time with Louis. And Maz, for that matter. Either way, I'm just saying I am here and I am the vision of sexual dynamo. I'm not saying that we have to. But I'm also saying, you're losing an opportunity here. Now, don't get me wrong. I completely understand if you're not in the mood. But at the same time, you are really missing an opportunity. I mean, I do love blood as much as the next vampire. But if there's anything I love more, it's an orgy. You've never participated in one. That's, that's fine. I'm just saying. We could get one going. It's really simple. I, I could always... No? All right, don't no, mind. No, no. I'm not going to say yuck your yum, as they say. <laughs> you're, you're feeling uncomfortable. Well, I'm sorry. What's so uncomfortable about sexuality? Hmm? Okay, I, I suppose that would make it uncomfortable, considering you have assassins after you. We don't know what that's about, do you? I know I haven't really asked a lot of questions about who you are, where you come from. Normally I don't ask those things. Normally I just ask, where do you want me to stick it? Either my fangs, or, you know, penis. Oh, don't get me wrong. Oh, don't get me wrong. Everyone does enjoy a good jab from the fangs here and there. But I don't actually turn people without their consent. And it goes against every moral and every ethical standard for vampirism. Believe it or not, there are ethical ways to be a vampire. No eating of children, unless you're an absolute monster. No turning of anything that doesn't ask to be turned. And certainly, no attacking victims who didn't deserve it. Now, when we're feral, meaning we've been starved and haven't eaten in days, all those rules go out the window. I've been tortured this way, and I can guarantee you it's no fun eating people who don't ask for it. But still... It's good to be in a place that you know you're safe. Like the stroke of midnight, where you're safe. And with your permission, I'd love to eat you. Well, I don't mean eat from you, if you catch my meaning. That there's a double entendre. I'm talking about your genitals. Too forward. Understandable. 
I've been told that many times, and I've ignored that advice plenty more. But don't worry. Either way, we're here to make sure that you're safe. Oh. Uh, just a moment, will you? How's it going in here? It goes splendidly, Maz. What's up? So, we've got some updates, some news. Apparently there are things moving over in the forest. Some of the elves are... Keeping watch on us, apparently. Whatever do the elves want with us? Don't think it's us that they will want. <sighs> you heard about Cuthbert, right? Their king? You mean the one who was murdered in cold blood in front of God and everyone? Hilarious. Yes, that. Apparently they're tracking that person down. He may or may not have passed through the stroke of midnight. We're probably getting another, uh, visit. But rather from the Inquisition, it might come from the High Elves. Oh, those cheeky bastards. They don't like us very much, do they? No. No, they do not, as a matter of fact. So I need you on your best behavior. Oh, I'm always on my best behavior. Because I aim to misbehave. Yeah, I know that. But still, we need to take this more seriously. You understand me? I read you loud and clear. I'll only proposition them for sex as long as they're here maybe three or four times. How about none? I don't want those bastards thinking that they're welcome here. You mean the elves? No. I mean, it's not the elves. It's not the elves themselves. It's their governors. They think that they own this forest, and that we are somehow on their land, even though I hold the deed to the property. Oh. So they want to muscle in on your territory and you're not liking it. Why should I? Fair point to you. You know, I could always take care of them. A few bites there, a few stabbings in the other places, you know. Fun for everyone. Let's not and say we did. Either way, if the High Council of Elves comes from Cuthbert and tries to investigate us here, we don't know very much. But chances are, our dear traveller over there might be in danger. Do you want me to abscond with them? Take them somewhere safe? No. They're safer here, I think. It's up to you, traveller. Are you willing to stay longer? I don't want you to feel like you're a captive. You can leave at any time. I just would advise against it. So you don't know the Council of Elves like I do. They're a lot more judgmental, somehow, than the Inquisition. A lot of the elves. The high elves, I mean. Not the wood elves, or not even the mountain elves. No, these guys, they tend to think that they're the bee's knees. That they know better than anyone. Dangerous mentality, if you ask me. So, I think it would be a better idea if you stayed. I'm glad that you're willing to. I know it isn't easy, but I do appreciate it. In the meantime, I know Louis is going to be around. He'll be there to take care of you as well. How's Hakan been? I've been ever the gentleman. That many times, huh? Okay. Well, needless to say, you don't have to worry about food or boarding. We'll pay that for you. Don't worry about it. Your safety is our number one priority. Why are we giving them special treatment? We have tons of travelers. I don't see why we're doing anything particular. You don't know how to read the signs. I've been around long enough. 
I know you don't understand it either. But there's something about you. An air of destiny, let's say. Oh, come off it. I have more of an air of destiny. Why? Because you're a posh vampire. Precisely. I came from influence and affluence, even. I was a somebody, and I remained a somebody until I was undead. Then I became an even bigger somebody. I'll say. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Don't worry about it. In the meantime, though, we need to figure out what our game plan is going to be. My impression... My impression is that they're going to be coming in soon. And they're going to try and interrogate our guests. And I don't like that sort of harassment around them. It tends to run them off, you see. So, when the time comes and those... <sighs> when the time comes and those council members come, we need to be ready. We need to be prepared. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. In the meantime... In the meantime, you'll keep watch over them until I can figure out what the hell is going on out there. Rumor has it that the uh, elves might also be moving in on that dragon that lives in the forest. You mean the one that's been there for ages? The one that the High King of Cuthbert himself refused to go after? Why now? If I had to guess, it's the gold. They're after its treasure. You think they mean to go to war? I wouldn't be surprised. The city of Cuthbert has been on edge for a while. Who knows what they're capable of. I'm sorry, darling. I know this must be utterly boring. It must be absolutely awful to be stuck at home. Stuck in here. Without being able to go out. I'll tell you what. If you want, you can feel free to leave. But if you do so, I prefer that you go either with Hakan here, or with Louis. Whichever you prefer. We do have other workers who might be able to assist you. Perhaps you can even spend some time with them. But either way, we just want to make sure that you're safe. All right. Awesome. Also, Akitham has been willing to tell you more stories. He loves sharing the lore of the land. You might learn something new. It's up to you, though. In the meantime, is there anything we can get you? Away from me? <laughs> Please! By the time I'm done with you, you'll be clamoring to stay with me all night long. Yes, I'm just that good. You haven't even tried me. You've seen what I've done when I'm angry, or when there are assassins about. Now imagine if I took that energy in a sexy direction, which is the direction I prefer to put everything in. Still not biting, huh? <laughs> See what I did there? I made a pun. All right, I can. Take it down a notch. No, I'm always at eleven, if you know what I mean. Oh, I'm at twelve now. All right. <laughs> okay. In the meantime, you stay comfortable. You know anything, let me know. Oh, and one more thing. If at any point the council comes in, don't let them know that you've been here for very long. Don't tell them where you've been or where you're going. I don't trust them, is why. I trust the Inquisition because at least they've proven time and again that they're against the thing in the empty tower. I don't know the High Council of Cuthbert. I don't know what their intentions are, but I certainly do want to find out. 
I don't know who's loyal to the world, or who might be loyal to her. Generally in the Inquisition they take care of that within themselves, although rumor has it someone in the Inquisition may have been compromised. Good news is they're very good at sussing that sort of thing out. They've been doing it for so many centuries, it's like breathing in their sleep. The high city of Cuthbert, with its high towers and isolationism, hmm, just puts me on edge is all. All right. Also, I know her can can be a little much, but every customer I've ever heard that's been with them, if I may, has left with a lot fewer complaints than you'd think. Something to consider. Yes, something for you to consider greatly. His attitude may be a little rough around the edges, but he mostly means well. All right. I'll let you get back to it, and we'll check in with you later. All right. Take care, darling. So. It's just you and me now. What say we have a little rendezvous? Ah, persistence is the key. I knew that you'd acquiesce at some point. <laughs> oh, righto. Shall we start with the safe words then and work our way from there? Excellent. <laughs>